everybody, this is Taz. Welcome to my kitchen dining room area. Today I want to show you um, how to cook with a wig on and uh, also just a couple things about my day today. So here's my kitchen and dining area. It's really nice and shiny, bright outside today in Ohio, which is nice. And so let's go over and do some cooking. Today I'm going to make some beer bread. Has anybody ever tried the tastefully simple beer bread? My family loves it. And today is actually Super Bowl day, so I'm making up some uh, pulled pork sandwiches, some homemade coleslaw, and some beer bread. So that's what I'll be doing to demonstrate this wig today. So what I did was I secured the wig back on both sides so that the, so while I was cooking that it wouldn't get into my face, and then I pulled it back here because kitchens are always hot. So you wanna make sure that your neck is cool. All right, so let's get started. I love this beer bread and I've been able to find it online because nobody has tastefully simple parties anymore. At least not around here. Okay. And over here is my fridge. We're gonna get some beer out. Anytime I feel like I have to cut back on carbs, I'll buy this Michelob Ultra. Doesn't have very good flavor, but it's good enough. And uh, I would typically, my husband and I like to drink craft beers. They typically are very heavy in carbs and calories and everything like that. And I can, I see it sometimes if I have a beer before dinner or something, the weight can creep on really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put the beer in the beer bread mix. I've already preheated pre my oven. Notice the hair isn't getting in my eyes at all. My neck, my neck is very cool. melt some butter so that we can put that on top. It makes a nice crispy top to the bread. Some good old cooking spray here. I love my stoneware too. This is actually a Pampered Chef piece. The bread pan, can't live without it. I love it. Even the beautiful long wigs, you can do that. you want to be careful of basically two things, heat and steam. Uh, the heat from the oven will singe and melt your wig. So you always have to be mindful when you open a hot oven to keep your head out of the way. Resist the urge to stick your head in to see if something is done. Did you know there was pizza down there? Nick must have forgotten. 
forgot about it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. It makes me hungry. <laughs> boiling pots, things like that. You just want to avoid that direct steam. Um, the steam won't so much singe the wig as it will melt it and it will lose its style on a synthetic piece. Now I'm not talking about human hair um, because human hair will singe and lose style as well, um, but you could ruin a synthetic wig very easily if you're not careful. Ooh, look at that. It's not ready to shred up yet but it is going to be delicious. Notice I'm not putting my head directly over the steam. <laughs> yeah, that pizza's pretty ugly. <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys, on this beautiful day, Super Bowl day, um, have a wonderful afternoon and evening, and we'll talk soon again on Taz's Wig Closet.